All right, guys. Hi. Hello, folks. Hey, what's up, Ma? Okay. First of all, let me just say that, hey, baby, Dahani, hi, we've been looking for you. First of all, let me just say that I am grateful for the opportunity to work with the people that I work with um, and that I have been non-biased on this issue for a long ass fucking time. But I have some fucking opinions that I feel like need to be said. Now, mind y'all, I just woke up. My voice a little crackly. I'm a little dry because I just woke up and my house is warm. So whatever y'all got to say about my looks, I don't give a fuck. Keep that popping on the, on the outside because that is what it is. Okay. Anyway, let me go into yesterday. I think that it's fucking horrible. Okay. It's horrible for this, for another channel. Let me tell you guys what happened. Okay. This is what y'all don't know. Okay. Daytime Tea Time had gotten a recording from someone inside of R. Kelly's camp about Tim Savage. Tim Savage is heard, um, you know, going up. That bitch lying. That bitch this. That bitch that. Right? Tim Savage is upset at the time. Obviously, people say things when they're fucking mad. I mean, I don't know what, what type of people, type of humans... Y'all been around, but when people are fucking upset, they say little things. Anyway, <clears throat> in the daytime tea time video, um, you hear Tim Savage saying that uh, Faith Rogers is a fucking liar. Now, Faith Rogers is one of R. Kelly's accusers, okay? Um, you hear him saying Faith Rogers is lying about the R. Kelly thing. Now, the only reason why he said, and that's an assumption, but the only reason why that is an assumption is because he said, um, is because he said her mother told her to go back and get some more facts. Her mother told her to go back because her mama didn't believe her. That's all. That's all. You know, and he was saying that out of the, out of the, out of being angry, you know what I'm saying? For the fact that Faith Rogers had threatened his daughter. Now, Faith Rogers and Summer Bunny are friends. Somehow, some type of way, people are saying that the little sister, and I'm not going to mention her name on my channel, okay? Because I don't want her involved in this shit. This girl is 19 years old, okay? She's involved in this fucking media circus, okay? <clears throat> and not really being able to live a normal fucking life. And that's real talk, okay? Uh, <clears throat> This girl, uh, Faith Rogers, is, was threatening this girl. You know, threatening the Savage's other daughter. I don't know about y'all, but if I already feel like I have a daughter going through something, you ain't getting ready to fuck with my other kids. Like, bitch, I'm over here trying to work on this one, and now you're trying to involve my other kid in some bullshit. Okay? Daytime Tea Time was texting her. Summer Bunny, the fact that she bought up Summer Bunny had nothing to do with anything. If she wanted clout for being, you know, in, in some type of celebrity faces or something, she already has it, first of all. Second of all, um, she would have been bought up that Summer Bunny stuff and been the one that originated that damn rumor. She would have been the one to bring that to light because she knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Even though they don't know Summer Bunny. They never knew Summer Bunny. They only knew that. And they didn't spend any time around Summer Bunny. None of them. The Savages, Jonjolin, Tim, nor the daughters have spent time around Jonjolin. Okay, I mean, around uh, Summer Bunny. But anyways, so uh, Daytime Tea Time bought up Summer Bunny in her video. And I'm like, what the hell? Anyways, let me tell you guys what happened. You guys see how she was saying she tried a hundred thousand times to get in touch with Mr. Savage and he refused to make a, a statement. Do you know why? Because daytime tea time, instead of getting in touch with one person and letting that be it, 
daytime tea time started calling everybody those messages that you see to to his daughter trying to get in touch with him through his daughter trying to get in touch with him through his publicist trying to get which is the right way to go the publicist trying to get in touch with him through every fucking other body in the world having tasha k call him you know what i'm saying trying to get in trying to call like are you fucking kidding me why are you doing that he said he doesn't want to make a statement let me tell you something i had a savage's phone number four months before i got that interview with them months 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 i know i know love jones and it's sad I, because what she that video had tasha k all over it that's why it, it just was craziness so she didn't said that <laughs> that he flirted with cash okay now, now, he, now, mind you, he, didn't, he said Faith Rogers was lying. He called her the B-word. That's because she threatened his kid. If, I mean, I don't know if y'all if y'all know what it is. Like, you threatened my 19-year-old daughter and you up in all this shit. You're not about to just threaten my baby. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with that? That's what I'm saying. And people so fucking stupid that they'd rather sit here and attack this girl's parents. But listen to, listen to this. Aside from daytime tea time calling every fucking body in the world, including other bloggers, to try to get a statement, the man wasn't trying to make with you. Who does that? You're not that famous, sis. You're a blogger. Calm the fuck down. Okay? Nobody has to fucking answer to you. Like, fucking relax and be humble. Humble yourself and sit down. What the fuck wrong with you? Then, on top of her not getting the interview, she talks to the publicist. The publicist makes a statement listen we don't want to make any statements we don't want to interfere with what's already going on i'm sorry we can't give it to you in particular you we're not giving it to you bitch you you're not getting it okay thank you the honey so what does she do what does daytime tea time do she ends up fucking not only calling and and exposing these videos to try to make it seem bad Okay, she exposes them in a negative way instead of find, instead of practicing true journalism and just saying, you guys, what you're about to hear is, is compromising information. I cannot confirm or deny these allegations, but listen closely and I'll be back with my commentary. Let the shit play. Yeah, that bitch a liar. Blah, blah, blah. Then when it comes back on, wow, that was a doozy. What do you guys think about blah? She couldn't do that and be professional. No. She had to try to make it seem like something negative. Like, and if you listen to the end of this, he was flirting. And if you, and, and oh, Mr. Savage, I tried to call him and he wouldn't make a statement. So she gets mad at him for not making a statement. She exposes all the stuff that was said negatively, lies on the fucking publicist and says that he said he was proud of her and her work. He never said he was proud of her and her work. Okay. Not only that. Uh, but she exposes the publicist's phone number just because they won't give her a statement. You that type of motherfucker that you would put this person's phone number out there, their daughter's DM out there, and this motherfucking shit out there just so you can have some numbers because you're mad that they wouldn't give you a statement? So you expose somebody's phone number? Do you know while I was sitting with this fucking man, first of all, you ain't got to do all that. Look up Dante Carter, D-O-N-T-A-Y-E Carter on Google, bitch. You will find him. He is a well-known publicist here in Atlanta. You don't have to do all that. Right. Thank you, Sharon. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, seriously, who does that? I don't give a fuck if I didn't get no interview, if blah, blah, blah. I will not expose nobody's phone number, their daughter's direct DM, direct messaging, and fucking sit there and try to shit on them in this video. Oh, first you wanted clarity. First you wanted clarity because you can see that those words can be taken two, three ways. So first you wanted clarity. Then when you didn't get clarity, now all of a fucking sudden, you want to start ex trying to expose people and make people mad. Hey, son. You know, I thought that that was a whole mental problem. I thought that was a whole mental problem. 
Girl, nobody wanted to involve you. Nobody wanted you involved. Who are you to be involved? You're not nobody's friend. You're not their homie. They don't hang out. They don't interview with you. You're nothing to them. Leave the people alone. You're nothing to them. Exactly. Integrity would have made you not do that. That's why they filed the police report. Leave people alone. And then you know what? They even feel like, damn, I shouldn't have even fucking did that because now she feels like that gives her a leg to talk about some shit. Just because somebody filed a police report because they want her to leave them the fuck alone. You don't know anything about these people. You were trying to find uh, uh, clarity. And when you didn't get that, you just went out there with the bullshit, with the mess. You didn't even give a fuck about finding the clarity. Right. So let me tell you guys. <clears throat> First of all, in my video, you can hear the girl say, um, they asked me, it's at the very end, but you can, throughout the, um, Throughout the entire throughout the entire first portion of the recording played on my video, you can hear that he's clearly saying that Jonjolin knew about it. Now I just want to keep it fucking real with y'all. I just gotta keep it real with y'all. Okay? I knew about this shit. The the savages bought this shit up on the first time I interviewed Tim that we did not know about. This is not no shit that's just coming to light. This is not no sh new shit. You heard Mr. Savage say he was trying to get information. And then you heard the girl in the video say, oh, they asked me to flirt with you to see what I can get. Meaning information. These people both went into this with the same fucking goal. To get information. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Let me, let me, answer, let me answer this phone call uh, because this is upper management. Hold on. They probably looking at that video like bitch, like at this video, <clears throat> and want me to shut the fuck up. Hold on. Okay, that was the wrong person. That was the wrong person. But anyway, um, one thing that I'm not gonna do, one thing that I'm not gonna do is sit here and act like facts aren't facts. Fact. Daytime tea time tried to involve herself in the Joycelyn Savage saga. And it was not involved, had nothing to do with her, and nobody wanted to speak to her. Facts. Fact. She fucking stalked every fucking body that he knew, including other bloggers, to try to get in touch with him. Fact. Tasha K called the savages and begged them to interview with Daytime Tea Time, and they refused to because they didn't trust her for good fucking reason. Because this girl, the whole time, sitting back talking to people that work for fucking Rob. And if you look at the end of the video, she said, she said, I got this video. <laughs> I got this video. Facts, son. Facts, Jackson. I, she said, I got this video from Cash. Then at the end of the video, she said, it seems that this girl Cash is just working for everybody. Bitch, you just shitting on everybody today. How you gonna shit on the person that gave you the info in the video? Who does that? That's what I'm saying. Like, integrity will make you do something different. People, you were not involved. She was trying so hard to involve herself in this shit that she didn't contact this man's daughter. Not like he ain't already got a daughter that he going through something with. I mean, come on now. So, right, she's shady. Then the publicist didn't want to speak to her, so she made up an entire conversation. She even had memes showing Tamar clapping like this and, and another man doing this and that. Girl, you are fucking crazy. You then took the fact that these people don't want to interview with you and filed a police report on you because you stalked them for an interview and turned that into some bullshit and exposed these people's numbers and all this other stuff. And there's two recordings of them saying the same damn thing. They want, Mr. Savage said I was trying to get information out of her. That's why I flirted. But I didn't, he said he didn't flirt first. She was flirting with him. You can hear in my video, Miss Savage is pissed the fuck off because she knew about the flirting, but she didn't know the extent that this girl was flirting with her husband.
because he told her that he had already told her that the girl flirted with her. I know because they told me together. That's what I'm saying. I'm just not the type of bitch that's about to put every motherfucking thing that's being said into the atmosphere. Because that's fucking low down. They were both. That's not true. D Damika Scott. That's the fuck I'm saying. You sound stupid. It's too many motherfucking people on this channel in their dumb ass heads on some dumb shit. Get your stupid ass out of your own head. If you had a daughter, and I don't give a fuck if your daughter was two years old and the system took her motherfucking ass. If you had a daughter, if you had a fucking daughter, then you would want to see your fucking daughter. My mama still hang out under her motherfucking mama, and she damn near fucking 60. Stop it. Y'all sound fucking stupid. That's stupid to sit there and constantly attack this girl's fucking parents because they're trying to talk to their fucking daughter. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if she choosing to be there or not. That's beyond the fact. The fact is that they have no way of making sure that they fucking daughter is okay. If they daughter get pregnant, they want to have a fucking way to, to, um, to go see they fucking grandchild, and they don't. And they don't. Hello? You don't want to be able to see your grandkids? You don't want to talk to your daughter? Hey, honey, I'm, I'm fucking 34 years old. I still call my motherfucking daddy every other day, if not every day. If not every day. These people simply want to know if their daughter is okay. They have not spoken to their daughter. And then when they did speak to their daughter, it was like, well, you can't ask me about this. You can't ask me about that. One, two, three, go. Hello. Hey, dad. Oh, you're asking me the wrong shit. Bye. What the fuck? That's scary. Thank you, April B., for the $2 donation. That's scary shit. Right. So if it was anybody, if, if R. Kelly was a good nigga, period, okay, he would he would have these girls in contact with their parents. If you was a decent person, period, bitch, you don't even be around your own kids. You don't even be around you and Andrea Kelly's kids. But yet here your motherfucking ass is around these other people's kids, keeping their kids from them. He's perpetuating things that have been done to him. And people don't see that. R. Kelly was molested. He was abused. So he do this bullshit to people in order to feel dominant. He's perpetuating the same behaviors. He was not able to be free, to have freedom because of his celebrity. So he's trapping these girls and making them feel like this is, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is it. He's doing, perpetuating the same behaviors. Thank you, Shantina, my baby. That's VIPT right there. And April B. VIPT all day. T high strong, baby. But it pisses me off. It, I heard it's about six, but I know for sure it's three and four. And it pisses me off that these people are talking about, oh, these people, the, the, uh, the savages, they just want to get paid. Let me put y'all up on some game. And I'm sorry to uh, John Jalen and Tim Savage right now because I, I know they're probably going to watch this. I don't mean to tell y'all business. But I just want to say, I just got to keep it real with the people. When they went on the real, the real did not pay them. When they came on my channel, I did not pay them. They have not been on any show, Dateline, nothing like that where they have gotten paid. Y'all have got life twisted. Y'all got life twisted. This is strictly for their daughter. That's the shit that's got them fucking pissed off and shit. That's the shit that got them pissed off. The savages are up to no good. Why? Get off my channel because that's not cool. That's not cool. You just, you're one of the people that's attacking somebody trying to see their fucking daughter. For what? Why are you mad at these people trying to see their daughter? That's fucking dumb. Like, clearly, you either don't have no kids, or you don't have a heart, or you are being abused yourself, or you just goddamn dumb. And you don't have no morals. You don't have no fucking morals. Let me ask you a question. What, what type of motherfucker says the savages are up to no good when they have a whole FBI investigation behind them? They have a whole motherfucking FBI squad department behind them. Why the fuck would they need to be up to no good? Just dumb shit. That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of your own head with the stupid shit. 
Because that's the shit that's making the shit bad on them. It's too many people trying to start mess around them seeing their motherfucking daughter. Thank you, Miss Hair Extraordinaire. I know, I know you love me. I haven't eaten this morning, son. I just woke up out of my sleep. That's what I'm saying. It, it's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If there was nothing going on, the FBI would not be behind the shit. Okay? They have found six building violations in his business studio. And that included living quarters. Why the fuck do you have a living quarters in your studio? Beds and rooms and shit. Why? Why? And I'm not saying that every every person on that TV is telling the truth. I'm not. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that uh, Jeronda Pace did say that she has um, a T-shirt with his semen on it and his spit on it from him spitting in her face and coming on her when she was a child. She still has that. Has videotapes of there was a videotape that she ended up uh, recuperating from his bag from when she was forced to have sex with another child. You understand what I'm saying? There's real shit going on, and then you got stupid people trying to attack these people's parents for trying to talk to their daughter, for being mad on, 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 a, on a recorded conversation that wasn't supposed to be recorded. Mind you, this is their public, this is his own publicist recording this conversation. Cash is his own, is his, his works for him. Why would he think that she would be recording his conversation and laughing in the background like that? Mind you, she muted the phone, let him do all that ranting, mad, thinking that he was venting to a friend and laughing at him in the background. Then she turned around and gave the, the, the fucking tape to, to I want to say who? To Don Russell, and Don Russell is behind this whole thing. But she turned around and it got into daytime tea time's hands. So what kind of integrity is that? Why would you even believe this girl saying, that, oh, he was flirting with me, when clearly she just a, she's a clout-chasing-ass bitch? Even in the damn video, she said, oh, so you think these people just going to let me in their camp and not ask me to do nothing? They asked me to do this to see what I can get. You know what I'm saying? So it's just disturbing that this girl can play a fucking video of somebody saying some negative shit about Mr. Savage, saying that he tried to flirt with him. Then when you hear the same girl turn around in my video and say the exact opposite and say, listen, they asked me to do that. They asked me to do that um, so that I can get info. Then you, but you, then you still want to attack the savages. Let me tell you guys what I walked into last night. And I don't mean to tell all their business. I really don't. I hope they don't get mad. But I, they know I wouldn't violate them. But let me, tell, let, me tell you, let me tell you what I walked into. When I tell you guys that Mr. Savage was so sad to the point of tears. To the point of tears. And, and said that sometimes he feels like giving up. When people make videos like that, they're not like, oh, Mr. Savage is cussing and screaming and yelling, trying to get his daughter back because and trying to protect his daughter. No, they're not doing that because that would be too truthful and too positive. She's like, oh, and if you hear at the end of this, you know, blah, 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 he's cussing and yelling and doing it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Kim Brown. That's okay. We appreciate any of it. Thank you. You know, you want to make it seem like the man just cursing and screaming and yelling. If it was my motherfucking, let that be my son. I have gone up to my son's school before. Y'all know this. And I done got down on the college principal a crackhead, told the little bitches come outside because they tried to Me Too movement. My son. So, I mean... I have, I have, all, you know what I'm saying? I have dealt with that shit. I have dealt with people trying to put shit out there that's not necessarily true. This man was pissed off. Said, yeah, that bitch lying. Yeah, she's lying. He said that because her own mother said she was lying. Not him. He didn't say it. That was her mama. Her mama told her to go back and get more evidence. And then she'll believe her. That was her mama. 
He said, yeah, the bitch is lying because the bitch threatened his daughter. And then she walking around with Summer Bunny. His daughter don't know. You bringing up Summer Bunny. The only thing they ever did together was riding in a car together. His daughter don't know no fucking Summer Bunny. To be talking about Summer Bunny. Then why would you put Summer Bunny in it? Now, now you done made it some clown shit. Now it's some clown shit for real. You need y'all need to understand they took their daughter to a concert, met with that man, and she started meeting with him behind their back. They didn't take their child to R. Kelly. The fuck? Summer Bunny is supposed to be the girl that um that that broke up Cardi B and offset. He was saying that she was lying about two things. She at first she said she was she, he was saying she was lying about the fact that she said she didn't threaten his daughter when there was messages. And then he he brought up the fact that um hey native lady and then he brought up the fact that her own mother told her to go back and get more evidence on r kelly because her mama don't believe her so thus far he just called her a general ass fucking liar he was just like the bitch lying period she's just a liar she's just, i don't know the bitch is just lying I'm, I'm just upset you know what i'm saying she's attacking my daughter i already got one daughter that i'm fucking dealing with the internet is attacking these people like crazy these people ain't getting paid off of going on the real did y'all just see them on the real? That they not get paid for that. Bitches need to calm down. Get out your own head. Stop attacking people for trying to see their kids. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Y'all got mental problems, bro. Mental problems, bro. That is a mental problem, bro. Like so serious. What type of bitch? What type of bitch goes exposing people's phone numbers because she can't get an interview? What? She's fucking lucky. I'm not going to say that sentence. But somebody going to sue that ass. She best to be careful. Now. Right. Right. And he felt bad about that. That's why he wanted to come. Um, let me tell you who I'm talking to. Sassy and classy. He felt bad about that. That's why he wanted to come clear it up and make sure that we knew that he he feels like she's a victim. He was just saying that because he was upset at the time, but he knows that she's a victim. And that's why he, at the beginning of this video, one of the first things he said was, she's a victim. He did feel bad about that. And, and he, he was broken down to tears last night, you guys, you know, because... His goal, he feels like it's like this, this is getting away from the goal. And that's why I don't appreciate what daytime tea time did. All she did was start some stupid shit and mess around the, the fucking, the goal. The goal is to figure out if the babies are okay or not, if their children are okay or not, not to go get them back and live with them or have them leave and all this other shit. They don't want to leave. So motherfucking what, but what is your point in not being able to speak to me? What's going on that you can't talk to me as your father? That's the problem. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all the other shit. So he was just so sad last night. Like, why would she get away from our goal like that? Why would she? Thank you. Why would she spin the story into some negative shit and entertain the bullshit around the goal? To the point of putting out people's address and making it seem like he was flirting with this woman. So now he got to come clear up this flirting shit. And, 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 and he didn't even have to. All he had to do was shoot me the recording. The girl said. Exactly. I don't know why she would want to be involved. I don't know why this girl was talking to both sides. She's a mole for R. Kelly. But she was playing publicist to the savages. And this girl, daytime tea time, is trusting her. Girl, you better learn who to trust. The Bible said put your trust in no man. The fuck wrong with you? I don't understand why she would do start that mess around the goal. Before she did that, this thing was spearheaded one way. Get those girls out. We're worried about the girls. Bow. The girls. Now look. 
Why would she do that? You know what I'm saying? You got to watch out for some people's goals. It's bullshit. You got to watch out for people and their goals. What was your goal, baby? I don't know what your goal was in doing that. Now you're, now you're scaring me. I think you got a mental problem because now you're putting out people's phone numbers and DMs and this and that and that and this. This man, when I was sitting there, I had to answer his phone. It was so many fucking people calling him. Okay? I had to answer his fucking phone because there were so many people calling. People like, why do Tim Savage have a publicist? Bitch, why do Kitty Jones have an entertainment attorney instead of a, a criminal attorney? Like the rest of the bitches that say they fucking got abused. Huh? Don't worry about why he got what he got. Get you a publicist. The fuck? Maybe he planning on writing his story. Maybe he already put, wrote a book. You never fucking know. But the fact that she created that hot motherfucker around this pe these people trying to get their daughter back when she already know that there's so much rumors and bullshit going around oh they doing this for money for clout bitch don't nobody need that much clout niggas need their family their daughter like what the fuck y'all don't understand about that that shit really making me mad because i sat there and watched this man cry last night and say that he all he trying to do all he's trying to do is get his daughter back it took me three fucking hours to get him to put that 10 minutes on that fucking um, video that y'all saw. It took me three fucking hours of, of, of trying to console this man for him to give me 10 fucking minutes of footage. Because it was that harsh on him last night. Sitting there crying and, and, and pulling up recordings, all that. And plus, those recordings that she recorded of him were illegal. Illinois is a two-person, uh, two, uh, two two-must-know state. G uh, Georgia is a, as long as one person knows they're being, as long as one person knows there's a recording, you can record whatever the fuck you want to record. The other person don't have to know. In, in Chicago, Illinois, both parties have to know. Just like in California, both parties have to know. This woman is his fucking, was his publicist. Talking about, they asked me to get information from you. Bitch, you is my publicist. What do you mean they asked you to get information from me? What kind of shit? Okay, I'll look. 2J or whatever. Well, let me see. What was the name I want to say or whatever. Yeah, and it's just like, I just wanted to put some clar clarity on the video. Now, I just wanted to address this. The reason why um, certain things are not addressed in that video, in the video that we, that we made, is because some of that shit was just fake ass lies. Talking about squirting. Why would daytime tea time create that bullshit around saving these girls or around any, 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 any circumstance of this nature at all, period? And we're talking about rape, abuse, domestic violence, uh, failed pregnancies, people, you know, we're talking about people being starved, defecated on, urinated on underage uh, pornography, and here this bitch come talking about Tim Savage said he wanted to see her squirt? What? What the fuck is mentally wrong with you? You got mental problems, daytime, tea time. I just want to tell you that. So that's why he did not um, address it. Ain't nobody addressing that bullshit. What the fuck are you even talking about? These people are, are making specific statements. I'm just trying to get my daughter back. Even when he said that bitch lying, this bitch, that, that was still about one of his daughters. Still. That was still about one of his daughters. Ain't nobody finna address that bullshit. Yeah, the audio was altered. There, it was two different conversations crammed into one damn conversation. It wasn't even the same conversation. I mean, I just feel like it was a mental problem. It was a mental problem. 
You so fucking mad that, that they didn't want to involve you, that they didn't want to, they, they didn't want to deal with you, sis. What is so fucking wrong with that? You know how many people, you know how many people fucking, not the publisher Hot Chocolate, it was the, it was the, um, uh, the pub, yeah, his ex-publicist, not the one he has now. Yeah, just, just wild shit, stupid shit. You know, and I, and if you listen to the end of this, uh, you can hear him flirting with her. And I believe that he asked something about squirting and squirting and summer bunny and flirting. What the fuck are you doing? What is your problem? Daytime, tea time, like really? You on a whole nother level with your bullshit and you need to stop listening to certain people because you got stupid people in your ear. Bitch, you go somewhere and get the fuck off my channel, dumb bitch. The fuck wrong with you? I'm mad because I want to be. You got a problem with it? Get the fuck off my channel. I can be whatever the fuck I want to be. That's the fuck y'all got twisted. Y'all so motherfucking worried about what the fuck somebody else is. Worry about your motherfucking self. If you don't want to hear what the fuck I got to say, then you don't want to deal with the fucking way I'm saying it. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Thank you, Priscilla. I needed that to pick me up. Or now I can calm back down. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying. What she did, what daytime tea, tea time did was create mess, literally, around something that is already messy. You don't stir in shit like that and you don't add more pellets to the bullshit. Okay, okay, Demita. I'm going to chill because I'll be going, I'll be going to fuck off. I just feel like it was in poor taste. I feel like that was some straight bullshit. The only fucking reason why she felt the need to do that, and I just wish that they never would have fucking did nothing, but the only reason why she felt the need to do that is because they didn't give her a fucking interview and because they filed a police report on her because she wouldn't stop contacting them month after month after month. If, per if somebody don't fucking contact you back, that means they don't want to fucking interview with you. Nobody is obligated to interview with you out here in these streets. That's not the point, Sandy girl. You're missing the point. That's what I'm saying. Y'all so fucking stupid that you're missing the point. They know that their daughter wants to be there. Obviously, duh. Who the fuck is that blind? They just want to see their fucking daughter. Hello? What's wrong with that? You got kids? You must not have no fucking kids. Dumb shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not desperate for numbers like these other bloggers. Okay? Know that. You can get the fuck on. The point is to, to, to find out if those people are okay. They're still people. They don't have to be fucking isolated for no reason in the world. They're people. Let alone, they're these people fucking daughter. They can talk to their daughter if they fucking want to. That's all they trying to do. Like they said, I'm, they know their daughter is over there. But if their daughter get pregnant, can they see their grandchild? That's where this is headed. You so fucking ignorant. Y'all so fucking ignorant. You so set on, on fucking attacking this girl's parents like a fucking stupid ass. That you can't see that all they're trying to do is talk to their child. Thank you, Kitty G. I'm not beefing with daytime tea time. I just don't appreciate bullshit. People need to realize when issues are serious and when they're fucking felonious. Okay, you need to realize when things are to be played with and when things are not to be played with. Okay. You don't know what they child want to do. That's what I'm saying. You haven't heard the phone conversations. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You just speaking and don't know what the fuck you even talking about. Tell me, oh, their child doesn't want to speak with them. That's what she said on the TV. That's not what she said on the phone. 
The fuck you talking about? You don't know what you talking about. You are only seeing one perspective of things. And instead of having an open mind and, in, and, and, and allowing yourself to be informed, let me tell you what a smart person does. A smart person shuts the fuck up and allows themselves to be in, informed. They don't just keep saying bullshit because they heard it before. You sound dumb. Shut up. Thank you, Live W. Laya Show. I told Daytime T that she needs to learn to discern whether or not it's worth it to put out a story. Like, like it, the girl, is a ho the girl is a mo. why would you blow? Right, the girl is a mo. Why would you believe a goddamn thing that comes from a person that talks out of two sides of their motherfucking neck in real life? Girl! I mean, it's not like, I can see if she was putting her opinion in on some shit like Cardi B and Offset. Then you could talk off both sides of your neck. But bitch, you doing this shit in real life. Where's your integrity? Where's your integrity? Where is the normal people in this motherfucker that knows that just because you fucking 40, that don't mean you stop talking to your, your parents. That knows that it's okay to talk on the phone to your parents without telling them what to ask you first. Thank you. That's it. That's all. Instead of, oh, okay, you can, when you talk to her, make sure you ask her only this question, this question, and that question. Then when you get on the phone with your daughter, hello, baby, how are you? I'm okay. What you doing? Nothing. What you been up to? Nothing. Is he treating you right? Oh, you can't ask me that. Click. What the fuck? People want to have, people want to have a real conversation with their children. You don't know that this girl don't want to talk to her parents. She may, maybe she feels like she can't. You never know. And that's the shit that makes me so mad. Like, that's what I'm saying. The shit is deeper, but you got so many ignorant people. People so fucking dumb. They can't allow themselves to be, to, um, to be talked to, to learn some shit. They so busy and so deep on on speaking what the fuck they think they know when they don't know a motherfucking thing. Not a motherfucking thing. Hold on. Do I look pregnant? Do I look pregnant to you? Okay. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers just be talking. Don't talk. Let's be facts. Let's speak facts. Speak facts. Thank you, Shantina, again. Own it. Own it. Exactly. You don't know what her goals are. You don't know what her goals are. R. Kelly could have threatened her and told her, bitch, if your family is the one that brings me out, not only am I going to beat your ass and starve you every day, but I'm going to have them killed. I'll have your sister kidnapped. You never know what the fuck he might have said. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's because people keep insisting that I'm fat. Let me tell y'all this DM that I, that I got the other day. I got a DM that said, uh, you're a fat bitch. You're mad because Kaya read a book online. Um, you mad because you look like a whale. So, uh, Meat Magazine said that you're a hippo. All this other shit. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, though. That's what I'm saying. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're just talking. You're repeating shit that you heard. You heard Tokyo Tony say Toxic Diamond is a fat ass. So now you're repeating Toxic Diamond is a fat ass. But you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. So nobody's tripping on you, bitch. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that shit made me so mad, y'all. I had to address it. Because me going to his house and seeing him broken like that. Right, right. A, A, Abstin. Seeing him broken like that and saying that sometimes he feel like he just want give, to give, give up. Exactly. Sometimes he just wants to give up. You know, that, that shit is hard. That shit was hard on him. 
That shit made me feel horrible for him. I couldn't believe it. I was just so just shocked. Right, Quinn. Right, P-H-A-T, pretty hot and tempting. Thank you. No, honestly, I just got some big ass blockers. Like up, up here, it makes me look big because I have big old, I have big old boobs. Big, big, big. That's all. Um, sure, I can. You crazy, Jacqueline. Exactly, that's what they all do. They all start body shaming. That's what Meat Magazine did. I wouldn't be surprised if Daytime Tea Time did it. I mean, honestly, like for real, I'm, I'm just, mm-mm. Right, Kaya and Tokyo Tony both look like they do crack in their spare time. So I'm not worried about that. Right, thank you so much, Cecilia. It does? Thank you. They won't actually understand until they do some research and or one of their family members is affected by it. These co-leaders are crafty and they are predators. Exactly. Let me ask y'all a question. What the fuck made y'all think that so many people that were so close to R. Kelly, that worked with him and all this stuff, was going to come out against him if something wasn't going on? Okay. Thank you. What made y'all think that these people that actually spent time in the studio, you know, that they, they were, they was just going to go against him and nothing was going on. No, clearly something's fucking going on. Bitch, you corny for being on my page trying to call me corny. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Ain't nobody worried about you. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, it's like, you know, it's just a fucking mess. Just a fucking mess. But I'm glad that I'm glad that I just wanted to make sure that I addressed that. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew what was really going on because that is a hot fucking mess. You don't do that to people. You don't do that to people. Exactly. It's especially when you have when you know that this man is a predator. You still going to sit up and attack this this woman's parents. It makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, she said she stopped, Chili said she stopped fucking with R. Kelly when he fucked with Aaliyah. And see, she was, she on the inside. He probably tried her ass. Thank you, Diamond Jewels. Right, it was. Okay, let me tell you guys what's about to happen. I'm about to come live with um, the man behind the man. And I think that's sad, right? That that um, gaslighting shit. It's it's ridiculous. So, anyways, let me tell you guys what's about to happen. I'm about to go um, live with um, the man behind the man. Exactly, Jasmine. I'm about to go live with the man behind the man in about. Um, I want to say 30 minutes to an hour. Give me an hour because I want to watch Celebrity Big Brother. I didn't realize that it was going to be coming on like every day like that. So I just uh, downloaded episodes two, three, and four of Celebrity Big Brother with Tamar and Candy on it um, just last night. Um, I know that I need to do Marriage Boot Camp, Love After Laka. So I'm just going to be downloading my shows for the next hour and then I'll come back and read a book to you guys. Something happened with Demetrius Smith. I'm going to have to call him uh, because we had a little disagreement, okay? Um, so we're going to talk before I read the book, um, and we'll figure it out, and I'll, I'll update you guys on what's going on from there. It'll be in about an hour, Diamond Jewels. It'll be in about an hour. I know. I want to start doing. I want to start doing reviews on my live channel, but I need to get more stable first. I, I'm just like I'm not stable right now. I have my house and stuff, but I don't have it set up. You know, I want to get my studio room set up. I want to get different things going before I actually start getting into those type of things because I want to be consistent with those things. Thank you, Mel. I want to be consistent with those things, and so. Um, and so that's that. But please, 
please, you know, have an open mind. Realize that you all are only seeing pieces of the puzzle and that there are bigger things going on, okay? Oh, I am Ji. I ain't never worried about no haters. The only thing they do is give me a, a, little, a little bit more time to talk some shit. Sunshine Anderson, I didn't get no text from you. Text me again. All right, guys, please make sure you show love, love, love. That's what this shit is all about. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for uh, sticking in there with me. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, loves. I'm trying to get it together. Um, thank you guys so much for everything, though. I really, truly appreciate it. How to unblock a person on YouTube. You, you need to go into your settings, into your community tab. 818 858 -0852. Yep, whoever that was that just text messaged me and said, Tox, I got it. Okay, I love you too, South Africa. Thank you, Chantel, in the house. What a beauty. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, I'm going to come um, back in about an hour with uh, the man behind the man. After that, another hour. We're going to come back live with Superhead's book. Let's get